Question number 57 asks us to take an expression that has a squared in the denominator and it asks us to rationalize the denominator. What that really means in English is they want us to rewrite the problem in an equivalent form, but we're not allowed to leave a radical in the denominator. Rationalize the denominator. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go to the problem. Here we are. What we need to do is we need to make the square root of 2, we need to make this radical not stay on the bottom of the problem anymore. So the trick that we're going to use here, or actually the technique, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the denominator by the square root of 2. Because eventually the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 will become the square root of 4, which is 2. But of course, what I do downstairs to be equivalent, I also have to do upstairs. So, in the numerator, I have 3 times the square root of 2, which is 3 radical 2. In the denominator, I have the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 4. And of course, there's nothing I can do up top. That's, that remains as 3 radical 2. But in the bottom, the square root of 4 becomes 2. And this would be my final correct answer to this problem. 3 times the square root of 2 all divided by 2. And the denominator is rationalized because we no longer have a radical in the denominator.